Ah, uh, February the 14th, or Valentine's Day. What better day is there to talk about love? More importantly, the love that Mitch shares with these five players. And with that, here are five players that Marner loves the most. Number five, Connor McDavid. And while it may seem a little unlikely that these two would be buds considering they were once rivals in the OHL, as Connor played for the Erie Otters and Mitch the London Knights, these two reportedly hit it off during their time spent together, prior to being drafted in 2015. From Marner annoying McDavid from behind a camera to Connor plopping down on Mitchie's lap, these two definitely developed a bromance. And uh, maybe you all can figure out exactly what's going on in this picture, since obviously I had no clue. Number 4. Dylan Strom the relationship between these two forwards didn't actually begin with sunshine and rainbows, as they actually used to despise each other. The two grew up within close proximity to each other, and therefore, while playing hockey, a mutual distaste presented itself on ice. I didn't like Lauren Krause back in the day, but I really didn't like Marner, Strom says. We went at it a lot, but eventually, the Duo was able to sort through their differences, especially since they played for the same team in the World Juniors, and displayed their offensive chemistry on an international stage. It was pretty special, and ever since we've loved playing with each other, and we have a great bond, Marner says. Stroom, by the way, definitely rivals Matthews as a singing partner. Am I right? Lean on me when you're not strong. Number 3. Patrick Marlowe. The bond between Marlow and one of his adopted sons is like no other, as the 39-year-old has taken the young Marner under his wing as a mentor and a father figure. Marner and Matthews have taught the veteran text lingo how Marlow has taught them how to play cards, as the trio reportedly spends time playing games like Old Maid and Yurik while on the team jet. And just like his four sons already, Marlow is bonding a lot with another in Marner. The two were shown singing the classic YMCA together in the car, smiling for a family Christmas picture, and joking about Marlow's son Brody's attempts at stealing the young star's girlfriend. Number two, Matt Martin. Yet another veteran guy that hit it off with the winger is none other than Islanders Matt Martin. During his time in Toronto, he seemed to spend a lot of time with Toronto's young stud. From smelling salts to filming commercials together to secret handshakes, these two definitely had what you'd call bromance goals. And understandably so, as both forwards are known for being energetic and keeping it light. The bromance was also seemingly high-key as Martin called Marner out for not watching the movie Sully with him, as they previously planned, but the two obviously found a way to make amends. He's a person that I can count on as a really good friend now, kinda like family. He's gotten really close with me and my family, Martin says. And even though the two are now playing for different teams, they've still made it a point to keep in touch. I still talk to him quite a bit. He's been a big part of my career. He has helped me out a lot through some moments. He's a guy who I know that whenever I need to call him up, he'll be honest with me, Marner says. Number one, Austin Matthews. Possibly the most iconic bromance currently in Toronto, Matthews and Marner seem to be a unique duo because who doesn't dress up as jesters together? Anyways, Besides both shouldering much of the expectations young prodigies have naturally thrust upon them, the two have formed a pretty close bond. A few memorable moments would be the pair singing along to the Bon Jovi classic, Living on a Prayer, sharing laughs while trying to hold a crying baby, and most recently dressing up for the Christmas favorite, The Nutcracker. Marner even took it upon himself to be a fan of the hit inspired by number 34 himself, by SVDVM that raps hit him with the four like Austin Matthews, and even admitted to listening to it while commuting to the rink alongside the guy who was the song's inspiration. There's no doubt that these two will be spending several future seasons together, and will be what they call bros for life. 